Hello, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to the show. This is your host, Mike Fleury, speaking, aka Dr. Common Sense, with another great topic for you. If you want to know why they call me Dr. Common Sense, go ahead and click on the subscribe and like buttons. Alright? And um, you can always email me uh, if you want uh, with your comments and and um, topics you'd like me to discuss on the show okay all right Hey guys, how you doing? I'm taking a risk walking here alone as a black guy. Uh, you know, I can't be stopped any moment by a race soldier, you know. But just walking. <clears throat> so ask me for my ID. But you. What do you guys think about the ID law? You think we should be treated like it's Nazi Germany? You know, like you in China? When it's supposed to be America, the land of the free. You think you're free? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Nobody's free. It's a false sense of freedom. You know? Better run so I don't get run over. <clears throat> anyway. Do you think we should be treated like that? First then they ask you when they stab you. Let me see your ID. For no reason. You know, some people have stood up to, stood up to him. Especially white people, because white people are different to black people. They know the law, so it's unlikely they're going to let you know, the cops run over them. But we know the law, we try to tell them the law, we get our ass kicked. You know, even the gun laws they have in certain states where you can carry your gun. <clears throat> some people, some white people have tested that. And um, <clears throat> sometimes they get their guns taken away. But when black guy does that, standard because that law does not apply to us so equality uh, it's something that we as black people will never never experience in this racist motherfucking country you know what I mean? Never. So, how do you avoid the way soldiers? How?
Well, it's not easy if you still want to live here, but a lot of people who are born here, that's all they know. They're afraid of traveling, so they don't know how their lives could be better living somewhere else, even in some different states. They don't have waste soldiers everywhere. You know what I mean? Usually in the big cities. And where they have black people. So what do you do? Even if you don't want to travel to a different country. There are ways you can avoid them. If you want to know how, shoot me an email. And I'll tell you how we can do that. But still, <clears throat> see how I'm working here? I'm always looking around. Not just because I don't want to get run over by cars. Because you got to be alert. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you're a mad citizen, if you're black, you're a target. So, we can't call this. Uh, a country where everybody is treated equally. It was built on racism. So it's always going to be a racist country. That's the truth. And that's the, the message. Later.